Welcome back to Comston Farm and today we are going to be getting the last two fields planted. We've got three fields to roll and that'll be it for the year. Let's hit the intro. <music> So this video didn't quite go to plan. Well, the voiceover hasn't gone to plan because I recorded the commentary for this bit live, but editing the sound, it sounds damn awful. So take two and I'll do a voiceover separately. Uh, so just refilling the planter and then we are going to get the maize planted into the middle of field six. Just getting some units sorted, I think, because I skip between them depending on which map I'm on. And also we need manual gearbox for this, primarily just for this Ford. Um, it works better if we have it on manual gear change mode. So yeah, tend to play this one on manual mode. Not going to bother putting a headland at this end of the field. But we'll do kind of a an L shape, I guess, headland on here. And... If you don't know if you can pick it up, there's an annoying beeping noise, which it turns out is um, proceed because this cedar or planter can have fertilizer and it hasn't got fertilizer, so it's warning us that it hasn't got fertilizer. Now, normally, I don't play with sound on, so I wouldn't have noticed this, but because I was recording an intro type thing, I had sound on and it was really bugging me. And it took me a while to work out that it was actually A, the game doing it, and B, what it was. Um, because I've got proceed minimized because I'm not putting tram lines in because it's corn uh, and we won't bother with tram lines for corn we'll just drive between the rows not that we need to really because this field will be pretty good until harvest I think it does need some fertilizing but yeah this is me uh, <laughs> trying to work out what the heck it is and there we go we will turn off the need for fertilizer and the sound on proceed and that gets rid of it job done awesome um, so I, I probably say it in the voiceover later, so I'm recording this after I've recorded the other bit of the voiceover because editing the sound, this first bit sounded awful. Um, I'm going to play the rest of this year through on here to harvest, I think. Um, we're going to need to wait for the 1.2 update to the map along with precision farming, so I think it's probably sensible to get through harvest on here. With a following wind, maybe that will correspond to Maze Plus as well, who knows. It would be nice to do all of that in one hit because although Maze Plus doesn't always need a new save, sometimes it does. So, eh, if we've got all the crops harvested and we've got to move saves anyway, that would kind of make life easier. Um, yeah, so we have this bit of field 6 to plant with corn. We then have the field over behind the shop and the recycling centre that we're going to put soybeans in going to keep that as a cash crop most likely um, and I'm going to use the cedar for that because the cedar can do it and it goes at 11 miles an hour rather than 6 miles an hour so it'll be almost twice as fast and we're then going to do some rolling and I'm really torn on you can see some nice tram lines there I'm really torn on rolling because it destroys the planted texture and would you always roll all of the crops my crop, certainly now if you did potatoes you definitely wouldn't roll those but I'm pretty sure giants will tell you you need to roll so you know that's kind of weird uh, actually talking of potatoes that's one thing I didn't put in when um, so in my real life I also run ultra marathons and I was running one around a farm last weekend last weekend and if you're on discord you'll listen to pictures of it um, there was a tractor that was reaching ready to plant potatoes that was a cool evil looking implement um and it gave me some appreciation of the time of doing real farming because while I spent 12 hours running around uh, two farms, this guy spent that 12 hours ridging a rather large field that's going to be potatoes. Um, and it was basically doing, it was kind of putting in one ridge at a time, but it sort of worked to do two because it was doing the edge of the last one, a whole ridge, and then the edge of the next one. But yeah, it's a real eye-opener as to how long things take in real-world farming. Um, I'm now going to do a really bad job of trying to get a straight line down here. And I do a really bad job of it. Um, what would probably be better and what I end up doing is putting um, the VCA 
GPS to 5 degrees because it's running at 182 at the moment and because it's just off of a cardinal and farm sim isn't very good when you're not on proper angles it um, doesn't do so great I'm not sure what I was trying to show there but yeah yeah it doesn't do so great so we spend a bit of time messing around actually I know what I was talking about and it links to what I was just talking about as well um, so the other farm that I was going around has a BJ on it and again, I've put some pictures on Discord of it. Uh, this time and the last time I did one. Um, and I'm really tempted to try and build that farm in Farm Sim. Um, so I think I could do it with probably the modular BGA. It has this really nice little three or four fermenter BGA. Um, some huge bunker silos. Um, like three huge bunker silos. Um, a couple of freestanding piles of fermenting silage as well and then some really nice kits so it's got maybe three or four really big sheds and then it had a couple of fast tracks about three pumas i think and they were mostly the sort of 240 pumas a massive quad track um, which i couldn't get very close to to get a decent picture of but yeah big quad track um big fat vedastat planter and seed drill had some really nice kit and I think so that bit of land that I was just showing up by field 30 would be a great spot to try and build that as a video um, and the fields around it kind of fit in with the fields up there because it was some really big fields so yeah I'm maybe considering doing that as a video I need to make a note of that actually because I've forgotten about it because um, the, 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 the setting up Greenland seemed to do really well and I did the setup video for West Texas and that did really well so I'm kind of wondering about maybe trying to do some farm build videos of trying to use maps that exist to build some real world farms. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments about that one. So we have not done a great job yet of getting this straightened up. Um, I'm going to fill this gap in and then we're going to try again at getting GPS set. And we're going to set it on 180 and uh, get ourselves sorted. Hopefully I can edit this sound together with next bit and it kind of sounds sensible because that would be nice so this video should have come out today which is saturday but it's actually going to come out sunday or monday um so some of the commentary that's coming up may not make complete sense um, and i talk about trying to improve the sound which was quite ironic given how bad the sound was at the start of this video and i'm not sure whether i'm going to keep doing that because I've actually found it's better if I just leave it with how I have it set in OBS instead of doing too much messing with things. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I might just keep doing the sound as I was doing it. And uh, I guess I've learned a little bit about the levels that I need to set, but we'll see. Sound is a constant battle for me and making YouTube videos because A, I hate talking. Um, I really still feel weird doing these commentaries. And B, my voice is not very loud naturally. So, yeah. Maybe at some point I will uh, make enough out of the whole YouTube thing to invest in a much better quality mic. At the moment I use a £30 microphone from Amazon, so it's like 30 bucks ish as well, because dollars to pounds is not great these days. So yeah, we're going to mess about a little bit with VCA, just trying to change the heading, but that's not working brilliantly. So we're going to clear the course off and set VCA to 5 degree increments and get ourselves on a 180 heading and then get this straightened up just because it we could have just planted it like this it would have made no difference to the crop but it was just bugging me um, and it's annoying that it was the start of the video so, over to past me for the future time lapse commentary catch you in a bit Am. um yeah that was really messy start as i said i was quite tired when i was recording that intro it had been a long day at work, but I wanted to get some stuff done for FS. I'm trying some different things with the sound at the moment as well, particularly with my mic and trying to edit the sound. Um, and I don't know if it's better or not, to be honest. So please give me some feedback below as to whether it is worth the time that I'm trying to put in to tweaking the sound that's coming through on the videos. So I thought this was quite a big field and I guess if it was one field it is quite a big field but where this has been cut into three it's actually quite quick to seed with a six meter seeder or plant with a six meter planter. Eh. Um, 
and we're getting the tractor nicely coated in lime again and I think in this episode I do finally end up buying a pressure washer because otherwise we're going to screw our tractors. Um, I keep talking about precision farming, you will probably have seen me do a video on what we know about precision farming at this point. Um, well, quite a bit, quite a bit of questions in my mind still. Um, I think I've decided I'm going to play through the year on here to harvest before we add precision farming. Um, that just means I can keep playing while we wait for the 1.2 update to the map um, and I'm not losing all of the liming and stuff that I've done on here and we'll just start fresh after harvest with uh, version 1.2 of the map, precision farming, perfect, makes things a little bit easier. I will still do a video on moving across to the new version of the map when it comes out. Um, because I said I would and I'll show you how I do it and it's maybe not the easiest way to do it but it works um, it's what I used when I if you watch back on FS19 when I moved Homeworld to the farming agency version of the map it's how I did that it takes a little bit of time um, it basically involves power tools um, and the real speed mod um, and coarse blending things like that and yeah just quickly recovering the map to where you were. Uh, it's easy to do it post harvest. Um, I say it's what you know, it's always easiest before you've got crops in the ground, but I'll tell you how I go through it. Um, so having a quick look at contracts, clearly spraying and fertilizing contracts are much better for time, time wise for earning money. And we may pick some of those up in the future as well. We should probably buy a sprayer at some point. Um, we do still desperately need, well not desperately, we do still need to buy a bale shredder for getting some straw in the cow, bed, cow pen. Uh, what I put in when we harvested this field has lasted the entire winter, which is yeah, a bit weird, maybe. Um, I might need to reduce the capacity of that like I have the food. I'm quite happy with how the food is at the moment. And we're pretty much done with this field. And I'm going to leave the little unplanted bit along the edge. It's not worth coming back, I don't think. The amount of corn we get off of there yeah, is not worth it at all. Uh, so we then just have the soybeans to plant and the soybeans, sugar beets, and the corn to roll, which is going to destroy the planted texture. But oh well. Um, so I think we're done with the planter. We're going to stick in a pressure washer, the steel, which is only 1500, and we can get things cleaned up. Um, we're going to use the cedar for doing the soybean field because we can plant the soybeans with the, with the cedar and it's faster. Um, so we're going to stick that on the fence. The Ford can uh, have a little break. Did a really good job with the planter though. We're really pleased with how that worked out. Um, I think next planting season depending on where we are financially we either need to get a much bigger tractor so we can really upgrade the cedar and the planter or we just do what we did before and we double up on the planter and the cedar um, which is what i may do we might probably still need to get a bigger tractor because the ford really struggled with the cedar but we'll see how it goes just getting the last of the seed in the cedar because this is the last field that we need to plant and it's the field that I created behind the store, and that's going to be soybeans. Uh, they have a nice variety of crops in the ground now, which is kind of cool. And this, again, it's a moderately big field, I guess. For, it's small for Carmston, but it's big-ish for where we are at the start. I think we're going to do quite well harvest-wise off of all of this land that we've got. I am optimistic for a good year. We're going to be hitting the contracts, obviously, because we've got a couple of fields to fertilize. Nothing should get weeds because we had to plow everything. Um, and then it'll just be a case of progressing to harvest, of getting some weird textures with the, obviously we're putting tram lines in the soybeans and we're getting some funny textures coming up. Um, so I was just checking that um, it was planting properly. Um, yeah, we've, grass work is going to kick in. We're going to need to do some hay and some silage. I want to clear the silage pit out. Um, so yeah, we'll probably. I think we're going to. I'm going to lease a lorry and bulk sell the excess silage at this point. I did want to sell it as TMR, but not at the moment. Uh, so we're going to bulk sell the silage. I think to the. And there are a couple of places that will buy silage which will be quicker than the BGA. Um, 
if we have the money available I may add in my VGA which will increase the amount we can make from that and that processes it fairly quickly it's a shame there's not a spot that we can put it where we can belt feed it from the silage clamp maybe we should look at that as an option in the future if we can uh, put a silage clamp in near our mini BGA we could uh, we could really speed up getting through the silage and getting it processed it feels a bit cheaty maybe yeah I want to get the bunker cleared out before we get maybe first cut we'll do hay second cut we'll do silage um, probably do two silage cuts in the year I think although we'll be getting uh, silage off of the maze as well um, again we really need maze plus um, I might just play through as is this year and if we get maze plus in time we do if we don't we don't um, we'll see how things go I think with precision farming coming out I will be doing a lot more videos on that so there might be less let's play videos anyway so it may naturally slow things down I don't know I'm just going to see how it goes. I'd love to plan things, but at this point, I think it's getting really tricky to plan that kind of long-term strategy. So yeah, we're just going to play and have fun. And we're pretty quickly hammering through this field. I get my tram line slightly wrong at the end. We'll see. I think it will look okay. You see, I end up with a kind of double one because I try and join it into here. And then it all goes a bit wrong. Yeah, so I try and straighten this one up using the GPS. And then we're naturally on a tram line anyway. So we end up with a double tram line. Did that in demo, it did, I think. Oh well. Yes, yeah, so we need to get this finished and then we need to roll all of them. I'm not going to show all of that because it's quite a lot of rolling. Right, that is the seeding done for the year and all needs to be packed away, washed and stuff. Um, but we're going to jump on the rolling before it gets too dark. I'm hoping I can get this all done in this game day. Um, and then we're going to be pretty quiet for the rest of April. So it's either going to be contracting or just progressing time until the grass grows. Um, so we've got field. All of field six needs fertilizing still. It needs one more fertilizing state. So we may do that um, with the solid first spreader. Um, and yeah, I don't know if you would roll in sugar beets. I guess you'd certainly roll, maybe roll in the beans um, and corn. I don't know. I'm not a farmer. I'm just a guy who plays video games. So yeah, I don't know. I have seen some comments about it on Facebook about it being unrealistic that um, rolling all the time um, and that planters have closers. But you know. I, I watch uh, Ollie blogs a lot, as you probably know if you're a regular here, and they get the rollers out sometimes and roll after planting with their direct drills. So maybe into the cornfield or maize or corn or corn or maize. Maybe we can make a maize maize. Uh, I'm, I'm rambling. Um, yeah, it's, we'll, we'll get this done, and that'll be it for this video. I do want to get the straw blower next episode, I think, and we will look at getting the fertilizing done. We probably need to put row crops on something. Um, maybe the John Deere. I don't know if the John Deere will handle the fur spreader though. So it might be the fent or the Ford, I guess. Um, we can take the jewels off of the fent now because we're done with all the heavy field work. So it might make sense to put some row crops on there to get the fertilizing done and maybe get in some fertilizing contracts. We've got the kit to do that and I might look at buying a front tank for that so that we can increase the capacity a lot. Pretty much done with field six now. I ended up skipping rows using the GPS that we added onto here. This is the other thing, if we use the Ford or the Fent, we do have GPS on them. The John Deere does not. And I think it will just be too small to run the weight of the fertilizer spreader. That's that one done. So just the soybeans to do. I did end up progressing to the next morning because it just got too dark doing the previous field. I'm just going to knock out some of these bushes that are in the way. Um, I've still got the free 
landscaping enabled and I think it's reasonable I would just be ripping those bushes out by hand or with a shovel so I think that's fine this is the ones that are right up close to the field boundary that we uh, ploughed in partly for aesthetics and partly because the combine might get yeah, in the real world the combine would kind of get bogged down on those or we'd lose some crop so yep yeah. and bye bye tram lines until the crop appears uh it'll be first of may so the way growth works is it only transitions on a month so if you've got a two three 15 28 day month the growth transitions only happen at the end of the month or the beginning of the month depending on which way you look at it so yeah with the next game day nothing will grow in the fields um, so yeah maybe maybe we do the fertilizing next game day get that done that's all our fields all sorted aside from grass work we can look at either speeding time up until the grass is ready or making some money from contracting i'm airing on the making money from contracting because who doesn't love a good contracting session especially with all those spraying ones and there's one of them that has a hardy available so we could lease the hardy and then just go to town across the map of spraying weeds and that would mean we'd get rid of all the horrible weeds that are growing in everyone else's fields because everyone else is a bad farmer and just lets the weeds grow oh yeah that is definitely an option and it should bring in a bunch of money for us depending on how much the herbicide costs if only we had precision farming already and the uh sea and spray weeding and i did not crash just at the end there honest that's this field done and i think at this point we will say thank you for watching folks if you enjoyed the video hit the like button we do not smash like buttons i need the likes if you smash it and break it you buy me a coffee uh, leave me a comment below and if you're not ready subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and i'll catch you next time on comstock